Today, the doctors is all new. Does stubble boost sex appeal? Do cell phones affect sperm? We're answering all your questions about men. Now on the doctors, where MD meets TV. Today is the day we're devoting to answering all of your questions about men. Now, no matter how many times we talk about circumcision, it seems like people always want to know more about it. Sasha from Pompano Beach has made an interesting observation, and she's looking for answers. Hi, doctors. My name is Sasha, and I'm 32 years old, and I live in Pompano Beach, Florida. Now, in my limited experience, I found that men who are not circumcised have a higher sex drive. Why is that? Sasha's on the phone. Hey, Sasha. Hey, Travis. Hi, doctors. How are you? Hi. So I just got made fun of. Apparently, I pronounced your hometown incorrectly. I apologize. You did. It's Pompano. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to reiterate the fact that it is a limited experience that I'm basing my conclusion <laughs> on. My mother does watch this show, so let's keep it at that. And so, um, like I said in the video, I did find that uh, the individual in question had a higher sex drive. Uh, I was curious, you know, if there was an actual physiological reason for that or if it was just a coincidence. Well, Sasha, sex drive actually usually comes from with it. It's, it's a hormone thing. It's your testosterone. It's your sexual drive. And you think about, you know, guys in high school or even younger, you know, before you become sexually active and, and whether you're circumcised or not, you have a pretty darn good sex drive, and that's all hormonal. But a lot of men want to know, is it going to be more sensitive before or after the circumcision? And unfortunately, there's not a lot of men around there that, that have experienced both because you're either one or the other. Right. Um, but I'm going to show you what and happened. When, and when we got circumcised, we didn't yeah. have a choice. Right. I don't remember so, the thing at all, although exactly. I, I have a feeling it was pretty bad because I couldn't walk for about a year. But Jim, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bottom, the bottom line... <laughs> But, you know, there are a few, you know, several, I've heard from a, a men out there that got circumcised later that do, or, or maybe actually had their foreskin restored later and, and did report a difference in the sensitivity. Foreskin Which, restored? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, okay. a, it's possible. You can, can get it stretched that. back out, and so it covers. Oh, okay. But let me show you what happens in a circumcision. It, this is, this is a, not to scale, but, <laughs> but, um... This is, how you're, this is how you're born. You've got the foreskin kind of covers up the head of the penis, and they kind of pull the foreskin over the head, and then they, they install what's called a Mogan clamp. And I didn't, they don't make Mogan clamps big enough for Drew's arm, so I'm using a pair of chopsticks instead to kind of simulate that, and it kind of clamps, clamps it off, and then you take... Can I be your assistant on my operation? Be, and then you, they kind of just clip the extra. Boom. Take the clamp off, and it reveals the head of the penis. <laughs> so, so, but, but you're removing, you know, you're removing you've now. removed about up to half, half of, of the it. foreskin. This is between 10 and 20,000 very sensitive nerve endings. And there's been studies that, they've done studies on, 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 on the, the sensitivity versus circumcised and uncircumcised. And it's definitely shown that it is, the, the head of the penis is, in the circumcised is less sensitive. Now, what does well, that mean to your sex drive? I do think that, um, with, if you have an intact foreskin, a lot of the friction uh, during intercourse is, is between the penis and its own foreskin as opposed to the penis and the vagina. And, and there's so no probably less... For, no change for a woman in that scenario, is well, there? Well, actually, there, there's one study, I think it was in Sweden, that showed uh, in, with a circumcised male, uh, there was an increased duration and comfort of intercourse, maybe less need for artificial lubricants. Mm -hmm and uh, maybe an increased chance of uh, single or multiple uh, orgasms. The moral of the story, Sasha, is there's no way to tell for sure. It's not like you can do a study and say, mm -hmm. okay, men, which of you enjoyed this more? Right. You know, I it's think everybody enjoys it, for one thing, you know, <laughs> circumcised or not. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sasha, for your Thank question. Thank you. Take care. Have a great Bye. day. Now, if you've...
fast. No. We just talked about the health benefits. You don't need a debate over circumcision. The kids are screaming. They're screaming because they're tied down. Why mess with the thing? That's how it was created. Nature is not always nice. As we count down the top five medical procedures for kids from tonsillectomies. I want to move on to number two on our top five childhood medical procedures. It's one that has many couples at odds with each other. It's circumcision. Now, Jim and Lisa, you two disagree on this was, for good reason sometimes yeah. because it is a controversial debate. It is. You know, mm -hmm. and, and it's less common nowadays than it was even 20 years ago. Right. I don't think that's necessarily true. But, that isn't statistics, but I think you have to look at the demographic. I have parents coming all the time when they're pregnant to ask, should I have circumcision? Because a lot, most of the time this is performed by the OB. Should I or should not have you know, my child circumcised? It's hygienically better. It is. You're less likely to get STDs. Yes. You're less likely to get cancer. Yes. And most importantly, it looks a heck of a lot better. Hey, no, you're right. <laughs> Plastic surgeon. You know, it's a, it's, That's right. It's, it's all right. about fashion, it's though. It's, it's, yeah. Here's the thing. I think it's wrong. It is wrong not all just, about fashion. No. We just talked about the health benefits. You know what? There's also listen, listen. Listen. It also there's the, the other American side of the debate, though. Committee, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Family Physicians had said, yes, there are some very small medical benefits. But doesn't small warrant medical benefits very small. STDs? No, no, no. Yeah, but they found that good hygiene oh, and safe sex practices are just as effective at reducing the STD and the cancer. How often are people doing safe sex practices? I'm not against circumcision. I want to say that I do a lot of them in my office or and in the hospital too. I'm just I kind of sometimes think well maybe you should let the child decide when he's yeah. older. It's all about it's all about bananas, Jim. <laughs> you know, people are wondering why bananas. is this thing even here? You know, <laughs> you're wondering. No, really, this is you know this is actually a good. Demonstration. Parent, you know, when I'm explaining circumcisions in the office, parents really don't really know what what's goes on. What's it going to look like? You know, we could talk about it looking like an elephant's trunk, and we've got the uh, you know the skin elephant. of the. Uh, well, that's what an uncircumcised penis uh, okay. looks like, okay. you know. And you know, this doesn't. But um, <laughs> are you ready, you know, doctor? Sure. Scalpel. Now, did you like, numb the banana? Yeah, it's all numbed up, okay. so it's this not going to feel larger. like. Hey, this we're, is we're a little larger the, the than baby. most kids. Yeah, this is a little bigger and than most kids. And that's very important. We do numb up. With we do numb them up. We can do it with local and with uh, numbing medication. Numbing medications. We also usually use a sugar-soaked pacifier because that actually release, releases the baby's natural endorphins, pain relief, and uh, kind of have some soothing music, trying to keep it nice and quiet. Yeah. So we just basically. Don't cut. Look at there, you. Whoa, whoa. Good job. Deep. Make it look pretty, Jim. Yeah. But okay, so once the skin's been released, then we just kind of lop off the very end of the yeah. skin. Oop. Nice. Sometimes there is actually a little trimming to do. This is kind of actually quite accurate. But and then there you have you have the, the end yeah. of the skin. You know. Now isn't and, uh, that a lot? Isn't this a lot better well, than, than that? You know, I think that's a personal. You know, so most people on this planet are uncircumcised, so many most people think the penis is supposed to look the way you were born with. And when the thing's actually being used later in life, when it's in action, when it's erect, whether it's circumcised or not, it looks fairly similar. In the end, you believe strongly in circumcision. So do you, Drew. No, I yes. do believe it's a parent's choice. I do yeah, believe it's I parents' think, choice. But well, I think lately we are finding out that there is more research showing pros for it, health, actual health pros for it, for both men well, and women. So let, let's thing. just hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we actually have parents here who are struggling with this very decision. We have Michael and Tanisha here, they are expecting their first son, and you two are struggling with this. Any changes in your mindset? Listening to uh, Dr. Lisa, and, and she's said that there are more, there's more evidence that it's medically better for my child. And since this is our, this is our first, we've been haggling with it back and forth because, you know, we want to do the best thing possible for our first child. And I would hate, hate, hate for later on, for my child to be in pain because of an infection, because of an STD, and be afraid to tell his mother that there was something wrong that I could have prevented if I had just gotten him circumcised. And Michael, you know, the argument about it, it causing uh, there's a greater risk of cancer. I think it's the same as somebody saying, well, then you know, little girls should have, you know, you should remove their breasts since there's a. a uh, a chance of breast cancer. That's a really good point. Well, and, and, you know, and I'll, last thing, real quick about the cancer. Yeah, there's studies show different things, but most of the studies are conflicting, and most show that there's really no association. There's no absolute right or wrong here. It's no. a personal decision. Discuss it with your own physician. Fair enough. Yes. 
Okay, okay. and good luck to the two of yeah, you yeah. with Thank your you. new one. Thank you. We'll reveal the number.